I think I'll add some green this time. Isn't this pretty neat? Once you're finished adding all the colors, place the mold tray in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Here's how it looks after you freeze it. All three look so tasty! Which one do you guys like? Alright, it's time to give this a taste test. It tastes like a homemade fruity ice cream. I like it. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Meito, Awa Awa Jelly Grape Japanese Candy. I saw this at my local Japanese market, and I thought to myself that I had to show you guys because it looked really cool. The back of the candy kit provides us with step-by-step -step instructions. Let's open it up! Here's the great flavor mix, a spoon, and this cute little cup. I like that treasure chest. If you're worried that this set will be complicated, don't be because it's really simple. First you open up your grape mix and pour it into the cup. And if you look at the cup right here, there's a line that indicates how much water you should pour in. So I'll pour in the water. And use your spoon to stir for about 30 seconds. Pretty simple, right? I know it just looks like a liquid grape juice right now, but let's see what it turns into after we refrigerate it for about 5 to 10 minutes, as the instruction says. You guys ready? Whoa! The liquid turned into some grape jelly! That's pretty cool! Let me dig in with my spoon! It's like a jello foam. Here's a look at it closer. Time to do a taste test. Mmm, it's like a fizzy grape flavor. That's pretty good. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you two Kinetic Sand colors. We have Metallic Gold and Metallic Silver. Kinetic Sand never dries out, and it's easy to shape and mold. Remember this Kinetic Sand video I did a while back? Well, we'll be using accessories from this set to make some more ice cream treats. Let's start with the metallic gold.
Ooh, I like how it opens. It comes in a pack like this. It might be because of the glitter, but this looks like sand you'll find at the beach, don't you think? I love how the sand moves around when you leave it alone, and it has this cool crumbling effect. Also, you can mold it like this, and it'll stay still. But I like doing this with the sand. Let's get a scoop of ice cream. Oh, first let me fill up the cone. Did you guys just see that? It sort of reminded me of an octopus. If you want to see what I'm talking about, go back to when I first filled up the cone. Add the scoop. And here's a coffee ice cream cone with some sprinkled sugar. Now let's make a sundae. We'll use this to create an ice cream swirl. Put our swirl on top of the sundae. Ah! Our first layer just crumbled. It's okay. Our ice cream sundae still looks pretty delicious. Add the straw for the milkshake. Perfect! It's really easy to clean up and reuse your kinetic sand. When you have large chunks like this, just press it, and it's back to normal. Do it with this one too. Poof! Let's do it again, this is fun! Who would have thought cleaning up sand would be this fun? And then we could just slide it over like this. That was easy and mess free. Woo! Check out how glittery my hand is. This can be a new fashion trend glittery hands. Time to check out the metallic silver. It comes packaged the same way. Hmm. The sand's a little darker than I imagined, but the glitter adds a nice touch. The sand is alive! <laughs> Let's start by making a sundae this time. Pat it down. And instead of making a swirl, we'll use an ice cream scoop. Yummy! I'm having trouble coming up with a flavor name. What flavor would you guys name this? Now let's make an ice cream cone. And we'll make a swirl for the cone. I hope this one doesn't crumble. Oh, oh! This first layer crumbled too. It's alright. 
still came out pretty good. Let's put the sand back to its normal shape. Sometimes it just crumbles on its own. Once again, this is super easy to clean up. And we could just store this in a Ziploc bag and reuse it whenever we like. Alright guys, I need your honest opinion. Which ice cream cone did you guys like better? Gold or silver? Write it in the comments below. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, awesome Disney toys here, and today we're bringing you some Mickey Mouse Clubhouse bath toys. I'll be showing you the silly cruiser Goofy, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Squeeze and Squirt Pals, it's Mickey and Donald Duck, and the Glam Glider Mini. Out of all three sets, these two are the only bath squirters. Check out Donald Duck in his speedboat. We'll be having some fun with these soon. Here's Mickey Mouse on the seaplane. Who do you think will win in a water fight? Donald Duck or Mickey Mouse? I'm gonna say Mickey Mouse. So be sure not to lose that key. This cash register also takes credit cards. Our first customer's here. That'll be a dollar. That'll be 150. And the cheeseburger's 250. Order up. So we got the cheeseburger, a soda, and some french fries. Thank you! Hope you enjoy your food! Welcome to McDonald's! May I take your order? Happy Meal! Great choice! That'll be 540 please! Order up! Ooh! It looks like there's a toy inside! Awesome! Thank you and enjoy your meal! Also your surprise toy! Let's see what the Happy Meal toy is! Nice! It's a Disney Frozen Fashions! Here's Sven! Isn't he cute? We got one more Happy Meal! Let's see what toys inside this one! It's a Hello Kitty Choco Treasure!
It's Hello Kitty waving her hand. Well, my shift is over, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, uh, some Disney toys here. And today we're going to be doing Tezukuri Ramune Candy. Hope you're all excited. Here's the front of the bag. And here's the back of the bag. Let's get started. Inside of the bag, it has a front and back mold, orange candy, blue candy, and pink candy. And it comes with a little spoon we'll be using to scoop water. Let's start with the pink one. Whoa, it feels really soft. We take one scoop of water and pour it in the middle, and we just mix it with our hands. This can get a little messy. It takes a while to get to the consistency that we want, so you have to be patient. This pink one's turning out really pretty. Let's use our scissors to cut the storage containers off. And we can place our pink right in the first one. It's a little tricky to put it in there, so you have to be careful not to spill. Now let's do our blue one. Let's just give it a little tap tap. And here comes the mix-in. That blue one's looking really good. Let's carefully put the blue one in the second container. Now let's do our last one. This one's yellow. Whoa, it smells really lemony. This feels really cool. Now to put the yellow in our last container. Now that we have our primary colors, we can start mixing them together. Let's use the yellow and the blue. Can you guys guess what color this makes? Let's mix it and find out. If you guys guessed green, you're right. Let's put the green at the top and mix another color. We'll mix our blue one and our pink one. Can you guys guess what color this one makes? If you guess purple, you're right. That looks really good. Time to fill our molds. We'll put yellow in the star. The back mold is used to press down the candy, but if you want, you can just fill them up to make more candy. And who doesn't like more candy? We'll use the purple one we mixed to fill this mold. It's a really pretty color. Now we'll use the back of our spoon to press down the candy.
I'm excited to see what they look like. Once you're done pressing them all down, they should look like this. And then you just turn it around and they should just pop out. Give them a little tap if they don't. How cool! Look at this little pig. And the star. And a cupcake. And how about this tiger? These are the ones I made with the back molds. They turned out great as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Meiji Oikaki Sherbert. We'll be making a frozen Japanese sweet candy, so this should be exciting! Here's the mold tray. We can make a giraffe, rabbit, and a fish. This is the sherbet powder. Here's the blue powder. The yellow powder. And the pink powder. We get a liquid dropper. And the tray to create the liquid flavors. Let's start by making our main mix, which is the sherbet flavor. You can use the dropper to mix the powder and the liquid. Once you're done, pour the sherbet mix into all three molds. Now it's time for us to make some colorful flavors. Let's fill each one up with some water. And give it a stir. We can use our primary colors to make some different colors. Blue and yellow will give us green. Blue and red will give us purple. And yellow and red makes orange. Use the dropper to drop... Here's our first glider! This is Goofy Speedboat! For Goofy to start gliding in the water, put some water in this orange bucket and pour it right into here! Then you'll see him go! Here's another glider! This one's Minnie Mouse!
she's got a fancy speedboat. Out of all four boats, which one do you guys like the best? And here's a Minnie Mouse bow bucket. You can use this to pour water into her boat so that she could start gliding too. Are you ready, Donald? Whoa, he made quite a splash. Let's have Donald Duck shoot some water out. Donald Duck's getting bored, so Mickey Mouse decided to join the party. Woo! Let's test out this bat squirter. Are you guys ready to go underwater? Hold your breath! Oh no! Donald Duck is attacking us! Take cover guys! Now it's Mickey Mouse's turn! Let's hold our breath one more time! I was trying to warn you guys underwater, but I said to take cover. Mickey Mouse is gonna shoot at us too. I need a towel. Let's check out our first glider. Whoa, that's cool! Someone needs to teach Goofy how to drive a boat. Minnie Mouse joined the water party. Whoops, I accidentally pushed her. Uh-oh, we had a boat accident. Donald Duck is angry. Wow, her boat is fast. Now let's join Mickey Mouse and his friends and have some fun in the water. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here, and I can't wait to show you the set we're going to be doing today. It's a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Cruising Camper. This set looks like a lot of fun. And it comes with a mini doll and a Mickey doll. Here's the back of the box. And there's five different camping activities we can do. I can't wait to try out them all. Let's open the box and get a closer look. Here's a bag of accessories. 
Here's another bag of accessories. And I think those are the instructions. Cool, here's our camper. It looks like we're gonna have to put some stuff together ourselves. But that's okay. Here's another bag of accessories. This set comes with a lot of stuff. Let's help Minnie and Mickey out of here. I think we just ripped this. Oh, there goes Mickey. I got you. Sorry about that. And here's a little campfire. And of course, Minnie Mouse. All right, so let's see what's in this first bag. Oh, this must be the slide. It's pretty cool how it's shaped like Mickey's hand. And here's some stickers. And you can't go camping without your friends. Here's Donald Duck, Daisy Duck, Goofy, and Pluto. Here's the sticker for our pool. And here's our picnic sticker. Let's see what's in this bag of accessories. Oh, I think this is our sun and moon dial for our tent. And here's our tent. I think we just clip it together like this. And there we have it, a perfectly pitched tent. I think this is the size of our camper. Let's see what's in this last bag of accessories. Ooh, this is our grill. And a hammock. Here's our refrigerator door, an umbrella, and a tanning bed. Okay, let's start putting our camper together. We just put our picnic sticker on here. Mmm, looks like there's some watermelon on there. My favorite. Time for our pool sticker. We just place it on here and then press it down. The pool already comes with a floaty and a beach ball. Time to put our friends in these slots. First we have Daisy, Donald, and Pluto. And we do the same thing for the other side. There we have Miss Daisy, Mr. Donald, and Goofy up front. And then we just snap the doors on the side of the camper. Nice, that looks good. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Woo! Our camper's coming together. So you see, when you pull this down, it becomes our picnic table. And we can pull this out for extra shade. You don't want to get sunburned. And on this side, when we pull it down, we have our pool. Let's put the rest of our stickers on. This one's for our refrigerator. Nothing like a cold beverage while camping. And of course it's not going to keep cold without a refrigerator door. We just snap that on here. And it opens and closes. It's pretty cool. Our grill also doubles as a sink when you turn it over. This set is full of surprises. Let's go ahead and put the grill sticker on. And last but not least, we'll finish off our tent. 
do you guys see what I mean now when I said that it was the sun and moon dove? Makes a lot more sense now, doesn't it? Let's put our slide in next. I've never seen a camper with a slide. Then again, I've also never seen one with a pool. This one's pretty special. Let's go ahead and put the sunbed on top too. Minnie likes to get her tan on. Now that we have the camper all set up, let's go find a good camping spot. Off we go! Bye Minnie! Bye Mickey! Hey Mickey! This looks like a good spot! I think you're right Minnie, this looks like a great spot! What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a great spot? Well, Alright, let's unload then! I'll help you guys! Here's your tent! Hey everyone! Awesome! Disney Toys here! And woohoohoo! Did we just travel back in time? Check out this vintage McDonald's Happy Meal Magic Pie Maker! This thing might be older than me! So looking at the back of the box, it says that we can enjoy the magic of McDonald's in your own home. Oh yes! I can go for a pie right about now! Alright, let's open this up and see what the kids played with back in the day. This would be the bottom of the box. Let's just turn it around. And there we go. These look like all the accessories. Here's the base of the set. Ooh, we get some coupons. Mm, expires December 31st, 1997. What? <laughs> I think we're a little late. Here are the instructions for the pie maker. Let's see what's inside all of this. Ah, the famous golden arches. Ooh, we get some cool vintage McDonald's stickers. Here are some red pie boxes we get. I think these days the pies come in green boxes, right? Here is our pie maker sign. And we get this shaker that sort of looks like a trash can. We'll be putting in some cinnamon sugar in here. Let's take this off the base. Here is the crust cutter. We'll be using this very soon. But first, let's set up shop. We'll put the McDonald's sign there. Our pie maker sign and do 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 do. I'm loving it. Alright, to start we'll need a plate and some bread. The instructions said get some Wonder Bread, so I got that, but I'm pretty sure you can use any bread. Yep, don't need that first piece. This is more like it. Okay, now let's press down on the bread with our pie cutter. Just to be safe, press it down a few more times. I'll go ahead and remove all the bread on the outside. Don't really need that. And... Oh! This actually looks like the McDonald's pie crust! So far, it's spot on! Now let's move this over to the roller base, because we have to flatten out our quote-unquote dough. So let's just roll this up. I think if you just roll it around a few times, it should be evenly flat out. That should do it. Yep, flat bread anyone? Now it's on to the next station. This is the pie well. We'll stick our flattened dough inside here. There's a little notch under the pie mold. You want to place your bread under that. And since that Mott's applesauce coupon expired, I went ahead and got some treetop applesauce. So we'll need a teaspoon of this applesauce. But if you want to put in more, go for it. Just know that the applesauce might ooze out when you fold your pie. I'll go ahead and fold my pie. Make sure this is underneath the notch too. Perfect. 
This is the first buy we're making with this set. Hopefully it's good. Press it down. Ding! <laughs> that was the fastest buy I ever made. Ooh, feels nice and toasty. This looks pretty good. Hot, 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 hot. Wow, the Pike Grimper did a pretty good job. I think we also put in the right amount of applesauce. If we put any more, it might have just oozed out. Alright guys, it's time for the best part. We gotta put on the cinnamon sugar. Mmm, the sweet stuff. This is what will make our pie super delicious. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. As far as how it feels, it's pretty light and obviously it's a bread texture so it doesn't feel like a pie crust. Order up! Woo! We got our first customer! Let's put this in the box! Hot, 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 hot! Woo! Still fresh! And we made our first buy in less than five minutes! Watch out, McDonald's! You got some new competition in town! Let's try making a different flavored pie now! You know what I really like about this set? There's no cooking involved! I mean, it's pretty simple, these ingredients. It's just bread, applesauce, or whatever sweet treat. And there's no mess, really. It's just these breadcrumbs, but you can leave them on the plate. Mmm, I got a little sidetracked, but going back to this, I think it's easier if you peel off any of the excess bread while the cutter's still on the bread. This one doesn't come out as clean. Let's put this in the roller. Oh, and always use fresh bread. It'll be harder to flatten out and peel off any excess bread if it's stale. We're gonna roll it up. And roll it down, we're gonna roll it up And roll it down Alright, the song is finished and our bread is flattened And into the pie well you go Everyone ready to find out what's going in this pie? Nutella! <laughs> yes! Mm, the smell just kills me I just want to grab a spoon and eat out of this. Alright, for this one I'm using a knife so that I could spread it out a little more easily. Spoon would be a little bit more difficult. This should be good enough. Let's fold our pie one more time. Here we go! The pie will be ready in three, two, one! Pie is complete! Mm, I guess we could have put in a little more Nutella. I didn't really see any of the Nutella ooze out of the top. Sprinkle it with some cinnamon sugar! Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle! I haven't eaten this yet and I'm already hyper! Now it's the moment you've all been waiting for! The taste testing time! I'll start with the apple pie. Mm. Okay. Well, you guys should understand that since this isn't a real pie crust, it doesn't have that crunch. But it's okay. It tastes like an applesauce sandwich. Let's try the Nutella one. Mmm! This one is really good! The Nutella is much sweeter than the applesauce, and it works better with the bread. I would suggest if you guys do go get this set, make the Nutella one first. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you my kids' electronic cash register set. We'll be able to start our own McDonald's today. Are you guys ready to make some hamburgers? Here's our cash register. We get french fries. I think these are a little old.
here's a regular drink. It looks like the actual cup you get at McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. This is the delicious vanilla ice cream dipped in chocolate. One of my favorites. Here are all the ingredients to make a cheeseburger. We put the patty on top of the bun, cheese, and pickles, and put the other bun on top. We made ourselves a juicy cheeseburger. And we can't forget the Happy Meal. It's empty now, but I'll fill it up later. We may have to take some orders from the drive-thru, so we get this headset and an intercom that actually works. Just press this button. Now it's time to check out the cash register. Here's the lunch menu. And if you turn on your cash register, you can press these buttons to hear the menu selection. Which item is your favorite? And another awesome thing about this set is that this cash register comes with an actual calculator. Oh, we'll need to put in some money before we open. And I'll put the coins right here. And just to be safe, if you ever leave the cash register, you can use this key to lock it up.